Hi, I'm so glad you joined me. Three secrets to communication to change your relationships. Hang with me. I'm Judy Herman, and I have some awesome things to share with you, especially since Valentine's is just around the corner. And what can you do to change your relationships so that you can have some lighthearted fun? Uh, years ago, I, as I was studying to become a counselor and actually studying to uh, be a counselor after my studies. Actually, counseling is a second career for me. Most of you know that. And I think really it is for most counselors. Um, but I was going through some difficulty and uh, recovering from a divorce. And I had adolescents at home. I was struggling with single parenting and this transition. And I wanted to make sense of my relationships. I was having a really hard time. As I was deciding to go in and niche into becoming a uh, counselor that specialized in relationships, I really questioned myself. I thought, who am I? And uh, would I even you know, be credible enough to do that because of my going through a divorce? And then that's when I got uh, connected with the Amago therapy. And I want to share some things with you about what I, my insights that I had gotten from Imago therapy and what actually happened that really changed a lot for me. And it has to do with the three secrets to communication. So before I get too far, I'm going to tell you what those three secrets are, but hang with me because there's some um, valuable content here. The first, first of all, we do need to, just even before we talk about these three secrets, we need to realize that relationships are always changing. All right, so we want them to change for the better, don't we? We want to get closer and we don't want our conflicts to divide us. So the three things are the secret to positive interaction is the first secret. The second secret is the secret of pondering awareness. And the third one is the secret of a curious attitude. Now going back to my experience, because I uh, was new in private practice and I had a decision to make. I decided to take an invitation. Uh, there was another therapist who invited me to assist on an Imago therapy weekend. It was called Getting the Love You Want. And as I went there, I, I wasn't sure what I would come away with. I thought, I'm either gonna come away and be really um, determined to never get married again, or I'm going to make some sense of my relationship. And again, I, I had so much uh, insecurity and about even my credibility to work with couples. But I decided to go with an open openness. And what happened there has to do with secret number one. At the beginning of the retreat, and I was signing couples in, you could see the tension on their faces. And this is a room full of maybe 30 or more couples. And there was, you could see it, you could feel it. And that later in the in the week, something happened, or later in that weekend, it was just a, a two night um, thing. But that's where I want to share with you at the end what actually happened that just opened my eyes and I just sat in awe and wonder. But the first thing is the secret of positive interactions. And I saw that difference between the negativity and then what happened later in the weekend. The secret of pondering awareness is number two. Pondering awareness, we need to know our own bodies. We need to know the adrenaline, um, you know, and what happens when we're under stress or what happens when we're panicking. For me, I'll get a cotton mouth or my hands will get sweaty or clammy and my heart starts racing. It's good to know your body and to ponder what it is that triggers that, that uh, so that we can be aware of that. And the second and the third thing, so we've got secret of positive interactions secret of pondering awareness, and then we have the secret of a curious attitude, being curious uh, rather than judging what our spouse or our loved one uh, is thinking or what their motives are. So having this curious attitude. Going back to the positive interactions, uh, John Gottman talks about the ratio to even balance it out, positive to negative interactions, whether that's thoughts, whether that's actions, whatever it is that you're, you're, you're thinking or doing, it is actually 20 to one. But I went into my, um, into, uh, I just got this little, it's like uh, checkers. <laughs> but there's only 14 of these. But think of 20 of these. And these are the positive interactions. And then think of the negative. 20 to 1, 
balances out, balances out the tension or the even our thoughts. And if we get this out of kilter, we're going to be um, we're going to be you know more susceptible to depression and negative thinking. But I got to tell you what what uh, happened on that weekend that I went. I, I just remained open. My heart was kind of like just still grieving over a lot of things. And I saw these couples. There was an activity that they did, and uh, and think of a room full of couples. But one of the one of the um, partners was sitting in a chair, and there was music playing, and the other, their spouse, walked around the chair and whispered affirmations. They were things that they admired about them, positive traits. And then the music got louder and it was kind of like musical chairs. And then, then the voices got louder and times this by what, 30 couples or so, right? And then by the end of this exercise and the music got louder and louder and they were shouting praises. They were saying, you are wonderful. You're the best spouse I've ever had. You are awesome. So what that did, it just really touched me because what happens in conflict we do the opposite with all that adrenaline rush, right? Our bodies feel it. But with this exercise, there was this intentional body, uh, conscious awareness and, and positive interactions that really made such affirmation. You could see the tears coming down in, in that room. They were tears of joy and tears of healing. So that was really a turnaround for me. And um, I have more to my story and I would love for you to read it because it's available on Amazon, uh, pre-order that is. And I will have a physical copy soon, but it's called Beyond Messy Relationships, Divine Invitations to Your Authentic Self. You really get to know yourself by being in the relationship, but also by getting beyond the messes. So please join me. Obviously, this is not a substitute for professional counseling. We all know that. But do connect with me, judycounselor.com. And I do have a resource called 10 Ways to Build Trust and Communication. You can put some of these things into practice. But be thinking between now and Valentine's Day, what you would like to do that's fun, that's energizing, that brings some positive pondering awareness to, our, to your body and connects you with your spouse or your loved one. Okay, thanks so much for joining me.